Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Galtuba. I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you. And today, topic will be person on your mind, whoever this person is, he or she or they, whoever this person is on your mind, um, your current partner, your ex, your past lover, your crush, your fling, situationship, romantic partner, romantic interest, or potential partner, anyone, whoever this person is on your mind, okay, definitely have meditation, imagine them in your mind. And present this energy like what do they want to say to you okay their current feelings their intentions what are they planning to do next okay what is their next move and what will happen next in this connection either you're already with this person or you're not you're separated you are praying imagining dreaming whatever so this is about that person whoever this person is on your mind he she or them even though if you're looking for your future partner, so this could be about them. Maybe you're trying to manifest them. So you maybe know that who is this person and when they will come, how you will deal with them and everything. Okay, so this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. If you want a more detailed, specific, uh, to take a specific reading for a specific person, then definitely approach me. If you're interested, personal readings are given below. You can reach out to me. You can also follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram, TikTok. Don't forget to follow that. And also don't forget to follow, like, share, hit the notification bell on this my channel. Um, I really appreciate and love your support. Thank you so much, everyone who's already been with me. And if you're new on my channel, then welcome in the family. So let's start the reading. You have a three groups in front of you. Choose intuitively whatever the group or pile is calling you. I'm going to meet you on your reading. We have a three groups with this beautiful um, black obsidian with this snowflakes, I feel like. Number two is this beautiful heart here. Number three is this um, calcite. You know, I don't know what this, but yeah, this is a form of calcite. So choose intuitively whatever the deck or card is calling you. I already pre-shuffled some oracles card here. I'm also going to use the charms because you guys love it. So why not for each pile, okay? So let's start the reading, guys. Let's begin. I'm going to meet you on your reading. Hey, group number one, welcome. If you choose this beautiful black obsidian with these beautiful snowflakes. Stone here, choose intuitively and you choose this beautiful um, oracle deck here. Sorry, tarot deck here. So let's see what are these oracles cards are saying and then we will start reading. So I'll already appreciate some oracles card here. If you resonate with this story, with this energy, then definitely keep continue watching it. Again, so general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's begin. We have a moon in Aries, protection. So this person have a moon in Aries, or maybe you have it. We have Venus in uh, Sagittarius, flirtation. So Aries and Sagittarius couple here. Maybe your Venus or moon conjunct with this person. This person's Venus or moon could be in a first house or ninth house, something like that. We have a breath. Then we have storm warning. Oh. And from this fortune telling cards, we have a expect to travel. We have games being played. Then we have love bombing. Mm, interesting. So some of you, your age could be 40 plus. Um, you could be 46 year old. You could be 29 right now watching this video or 19, 29 again. Um, your date of birth or maybe this person's date of birth could be on 14. Or of any month like 14, 10, 19, 1 and 9. And could be 29. Okay. So let's begin what's happening here. I feel this is someone that who's definitely. They could be born into a tiger year also like Chinese. If, if you want to ask me something. This is someone who definitely plays the games with you. They may be love bombing you. Or they are coming back to love bomb you I feel. This is someone who's definitely led you on, I feel, for some. We also have a breath. I feel like you're not in a contact with this person. For some reason, I'm getting this person could be in Maldives or you met this person in a Maldive or you will meet somewhere there like on Hawaii or somewhere like beaches area. Either this person live on those places or you will meet them there. So they want to meet you, expect to travel. So maybe this is someone who wants to meet you, who wants you to see them. Or you maybe already visited this person, okay? But there's definitely some type of a travel here. Like this person wants to meet you, wants to see you. Um, they're very, with this moon in Sagittarius energy here. Sorry, Venus in Sagittarius. They could be very flirty. Um, 
they could be also very obsessed with you if you're a female watching this video or you have a feminine energy in yourself so they could be very um you know obsessed with you i also feel like if this is a guy they have a definitely a lot of um how to say it it's like a lot of women's you know this person could be a womanizer i'm hearing the song womanizer something like that so let's begin let's see the person on your mind you could be not in a contact with this person but there's a storm warning here like this person is coming to see you want to meet you um they are also going to be very flirty with you or they're going to love bomb i feel like this is someone who's going to love bomb you let's see we have um perfectionism we have an eight of gems by the way it's eight of pentacles then we have the empress yes yes venus energy venusian energy is very strong here moon and venus either this person has this venus and moon energy like they could be very feminine they look very feminine even though if this is a guy uh, or if this is a woman here then definitely they're very feminine they're very in their yin energy feminine energy look at this we have the lovers interesting story going on here yes this is your lover yes this is your lover we also have the hierophant lot of major arcana in your reading by the way wow we have the death i mean i mean come on we also have the queen of roses the leader yeah there, there you go you could be a fire sign definitely aries leo or sag um or you could be dealing with this person we have an emperor i mean emperor and empress in the reading i think i should take it and we also have a six of roses victory and chariot a lot of major arcana is of, Ro of roses some of you this is a new person so that's why you're wanting to know that if this is the one for you or not because right now you could be attractive to each other flirting with each other love bombing each other or this person is trying to love bomb you and you're like i don't know i'm not sure if they're serious or they're just taking this relationship as casually or they're not sure about you so there's definitely something going on here. I feel this is a new relationship or your relationship also on a definitely a new beginning. Okay, like you're just starting all over again. If you already know them and you have a breakup with them, they're coming back. They want to start all over again, but they're going to love bomb you. Okay. I also want to use some oracles card here, like this Arpit oracles card. Link is given below if you're interested. Let's see anything else about this connection that I want to get some. We have I don't care. Hmm. We have desire. Then we have ego. Yeah, okay. So this is definitely someone who could be very egoistic person. We have an astral romance. Okay, this is someone who's definitely already dreaming about you, planning to come forward, but they did not come yet, okay? So yeah, this could be also someone that, you know, who's desiring to have a connection with you. I feel this is more physical, romantic, and sexual connection here. But we also have the lovers, empress, and emperor. This is definitely a twin flame union here. For some of you, I'm not going to lie. So you could have Aries and Sagittarius. Like they're very compatible with each other. Or you could be um, Taurus. You know, I would say it, it is also like a Taurus and Scorpio axis going on here. Like Taurus and Scorpio. First and seventh house like that. So this is definitely someone who is your divine counterpart. Definitely it's a divinely guided and divine connection with this emperor, empress and lovers. It's a soulmate. It's a twin flame. You definitely feel that connection that you never felt with anyone. Even though if this is a new connection or someone that you feel is, is everything about you. Like this is someone that you feel is, is, is the one for you, no matter what. But I'm also seeing with this death here, there's a transformation needed here. Uh, and we also have a tradition. So that you both could be from a different background, culture. There's definitely some type of open-mindedness needed in this connection. Like someone need to open to express this connection or to open to experience this connection because it's out of culture. It's out of religion. It's out of your your out of your control but you're mean to be together this is that connection that is definitely going to challenge your tradition your belief um your comfort zone so i feel like this is that type of connection here that but mostly i feel with this the queen presence in your reading with the queen of roses here with the leader energy leadership qualities here is your sag if you are a fire sign and if you're a woman watching this video or femi feminine i would say feminine energy in you even though if you're a guy or woman this is the leader energy here. I feel like everything is in your control about this connection. Like whatever you are going to take the lead or you are going to, it's all up to you what you want to give this, what type of shape you want to give in this relationship, to sh shape to this relationship. Because it could be someone that, it of, it of jumps, it's like someone that you're working right now. 
but you have a strong potential to be with this person for the future because I feel a lot of you you could be right now it not started yet you did not started something yet or there's a separation here now you're coming back together this could be a reconciliation for some for some of you it's a new beginning it's a new start or this is a brand new person because there's a definitely a lot of protection and flirtation energy here but again there's also some type of energy here that's talking about expect to travel so maybe you're going to travel to see this person and this person gonna love bomb you there's also some games being played here okay either this person already played some type of a games with you and led you on and you are in a separation or in a pause and breathing and trying to you know going through a major huge transformation um a period of your life okay you're protecting yourself from this connection you could be a single parent person here like you could already have children you could be single parent uh, or this person could be but there's a definitely a motherhood and child children involved here i'm also saying i don't care so either this is um yeah either this is um per this th this person may be going to tell you that i don't care if you have already children or you're ma you're married or you're separated or your mother like they're not going to care about people judgment and things there's a victory here definitely you're going to have with this person because this person definitely want to be with you they don't care about the tradition they don't care about the anything i feel they're coming to get you this person has a strong desire to put you on bed and to have this sexual desire for you i feel like they're very very turned on by you because the way you are um you really turn this person on with this emperor and empress for some of you i'm definitely not gonna lie be careful this is something that you're gonna have a child with children with baby with you are going to be this person mother of child Okay, if you're a woman watching this video, you're going to conceive a baby with this person. If you are adult enough, obviously. Okay, so if you're not planning, this is not for you. Because I'm seeing emperor, empress, it's a, mo it's a mommy and daddy, you know, mother and father. And we have a lovers, like it's a union that's going to happen. That's, there's a desire here that you're coming to union. But there's a definitely a storm warning. Could be it's unexpected pregnancy. There's a storm here. I'm telling you, warning here. So if you're not... If you don't want to conceive a baby, then be careful. This is also someone that you had to conceive a baby with also. But there is definitely some separation happen here. So you may be coming back together or again, no matter what, whoever you are, my watching this video, girl or guy, man or woman, everything is in your control. You are the leader in the leader position. Like you are in the main front seat to take the lead in this connection, whatever you want to do with this person with this connection the next is also ego here so dim in our light so there's definitely some type of a ego and desire here maybe this the masculine is very egoistic here in this connection and there will be some difficulties to to you know to start something more and to be you know to move somewhere else okay so whoever this person is they're definitely seeing you as their equal the person on your mind what do they feel for you they see you they're equal they do in counterpart everything that they ever wanted in a partner in a relationship in a partnership it's you some of you this person is already planning a future with you like they're seeing you as a mother of their kids they already maybe told you like i see the mother in you maybe they see their own mother in you okay or you have this motherly energy that they never experienced before you're very strong you're very independent they're very very attractive to you okay this is a very strong connection here it's a divine counterpart energy here with the taurus and scorpio presence in your reading it's a taurus and aquarius sorry taurus and scorpio um x is also going on here so it's mean that your divine counterpart first and seventh yin and yang energy so you balance each other one is a yin other is a yang so you know better whatever your energy is but this person has a strong desire sexual uh, romantic connection they want to have a victory with you they want to win you some of you this person definitely want to make you pregnant like they definitely want to have something with you but maybe this protection is talking about maybe you need to use protection if you're meeting this person or coming into union so be careful there's a chance and potential of you know being um mother or father here so let's see now if you're not willing to take responsibility of it don't be don't do that now let's see uh, what's next in this connection where whatever this connection is all about what's next what's next we have um, wow we have a delicacy this is definitely someone who's very very attractive to you they feel like you're very feminine there's something with the flowers here and I'm also seeing summer sorry spring to summer this person is also going to give you flowers there's something with the red nails red lipstick you are very seductive if you are a feminine they love you uh, they're going to love it when you are very seductive you are in your feminine power you can also seduce this person by your feminine energy 
they're going to be very delicate with your body, with your skin, with you. Like they're going to cherish you, like you're this person's pleasure. The next card is a love letter. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's going to send you flowers. Again, there's a lot of uh, flowers here, like yellow and rose, yellow rose and, and ro red roses, you know, flowers, re roses, I'm hearing, roses, yeah. Maybe this person name has Rose, Rosa, Rosie. Yeah, love letter. This person definitely going to send you a love letter. They're also going to send you a bouquet with a with a letter, maybe, in the in which they will definitely going to um, confess their feelings. This person maybe already send you some type of a letter or email. I'm hearing. They may, be send, they may be posting some type of, I'm hearing like pictures on social media about, about flowers, about, you know, their paintings or something. Like there's some type of art here that are some type of a pictures of flowers or something, nature. So it means that this is a sign or symbol that they are definitely trying to hint you up. Like they're very, very attractive to you, by the way. It's like you're very feminine. Yeah, we have a self-love. So you're definitely glowing up here. I feel like you need to keep working on your self-love. Keep attracting and seductive this person. The more you're going to focus on yourself, the more this person is going to be attractive to you. We also have the divine. Oh my God. I can't make this up. I can't. It's coming again and again. Divine feminine. And we have the wife. Yeah, a lot of you, this is someone who is your wife that you're attracting and manifesting your wife. There are, if you are a woman watching this video, they're already seeing you as their wife, divine feminine. They're already seeing you everything that they ever wanted in a partner. They're preparing themselves to be your partner, your equal, your masculine. And if you are a masculine energy, it doesn't matter you're a guy or you're even a woman here and you have a masculine energy. They are your feminine. He or she, whatever their energy is or gender is, I don't care. They're, they're definitely your feminine. They're ready to wife you up. They're ready to be, their, be your wife or something. They're ready. They are ready. They, they're regretting it if there's something happened between you and this person. This could be also someone who is already in a relationship for some of you. They already had a wife. They already have a children, but they're in love with you. And they're regretting to choose this person over you. Their ego is definitely is getting them. But they definitely want you so badly. Like you are their divine feminine. Yeah, you could be walk away from this person. Are you already walking away from this person? But there's a deep regret here. Either you are regretting it or they are. So let me get anything else here and then we'll move towards some charms here. Any messages from this person? Group number one. Any channel messages from their person? Whoever this person is on their mind. What do they want to say to them right now? Are their channel messages like anything from their spirit? From your person? Guides? What do they want to tell you? We belong together. This is so hard for me. I'm struggling. Yeah, this, this is definitely very intense for this person. If they, may, if they have to make a choice here. If it's not a choice, then this is very intense for this person. We have, maybe this break is for a good reason. Maybe this time apart will help us come back together. Yeah, this is someone who's on your break with you. Uh, everything will be all right. Please trust me. So they definitely want you to trust them and this connection. We have, you make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies whenever we talk. This is definitely someone who's feeling very intense connection with you. They never experienced maybe this type of a love any, with anyone. Sometimes I stare at my phone and become stuck. So they could be watching your pictures. They could be watching your old messages, letters, something like that. And they maybe get frozen how, what, to, what to say to you, what to talk to you. Because they definitely have no clue what to say to you. We also have, you are the one that I have been looking for my whole life. Told you. Look at this. You are the one. You are the one. Like they don't know how perfect you are. Like for them. They're, sh they're shocked definitely. So let's see anything else come up. Let me get some type of letters. initials or something so let's see we have n we have i we have j i'm hearing nigeria or something we also have jello jelly we also have l gel neil i'm hearing neil or neela l we okay this is the letters here we also have it's so 
it's two people you outside so there's definitely some type of um hermit mode going on here or this person is right now um is is taking a break or this is you you're taking a break we also have we have a nerd so this person could be very nerdy this they love study they may be wear this type of things like glasses or something um, we also have they could be very messy we also have a their room could be very messy too we have the moon and star so definitely you could pay attention to your dreams you could be also very psychic and intuitive and you could be telepathically connecting with each other we have a heart with the arrow so definitely fall in love yeah there's definitely cupid's arrow here this person could have a strong sagittarius in their chart or you could be yeah this is a cupid's arrow strike like you both are in love with each other this person is definitely going to love bomb you they're already in love or they're gonna take action very soon yeah i feel this person is taking a pause they could be this person still carrying some type of a burden or baggage that they need to heal one kiss yeah they definitely want to have a one kiss with you to steal your heart or maybe they just want to kiss you so badly i'm also ha we have the key so you have the key to this person's heart or this relationship it's all in your hand we have this beautiful white stone here very shining so again clear energy um this person is definitely seeing you in a very positive light they feel like you're very attractive you're very charming you're also very intuitive and psychic your aura could be very white or silver we have an introvert so this person is very i told you nerdy and introverted so they're very introverted reserved and shy they maybe have a throat chakra problem to express their feelings but they will we have a, again this is like a tiger cheetah i don't know what it is maybe they're born into a chi tiger or chinese year of tiger so it's mean that yeah one of you is very extroverted it's like one of you is very you know look at this queen of wands here one of you is very like go getter the leader type of qualities and um, and very strong and the other person is very shy reserved and feminine so i feel like you both are different from each other but you again you just mess and comp you just met you just mend and complement each other okay so even though if, i feel like i don't know why i'm picking up from you guys like you're a woman but you have a masculine energy and this person could be a guy and they have a introverted shy reserved feminine energy but just take what resonates with you but there's definitely your opposite attract type of energy here okay this is your reading gonna see you later bye welcome group number two if you choose this beautiful pink heart here with this beautiful stone welcome on your reading so the first thing you notice that if you did not let me tell you you got the timestamp triple two so you're definitely on a right channel but you could be also seeing two to two a lot number six is very important two four is important yeah i feel this is your soulmate this is definitely you have a soulmate connection with or you're going to have a soulmate connection with for some of you if you're single by chance if you're watching this video you're attracting your soulmate someone that who is you're going to have a very equal give and take and romantic connection with so let's see what this person the person on your mind is totally think about you they're your soulmate okay let me tell you but let's start the reading what's more about this connection you could be also seeing three, two to two a lot it's a mean that when we add it it's a six so it's mean you're coming into union with this person or you are mean to cross the path with this person and all that stuff so let's begin we have venus in aquarius detachment we have jupiter in scorpio manipulation oh my god we have a leg up and then we have caring connection told you let's see from this we have not on the same page then we have not calling you and then we have magic happens when you let go okay <laughs> oh my god not again okay so this person and you are not on the same page now this could be yeah this person is definitely either you and them already relationship started between you and this person and you are not on the same page okay and this person was detached because i'm seeing with this venus in aquarius this person is detached they feel like emotions are very make the person weak or something i don't know what this person is he or she or wh whoever they are but their belief is like emotions make you weak okay so they don't want to get attached with anyone so this person could have literally venus in aquarius or venus in their 11th house this person also have a jupiter in scorpio so manipulation so this person could be also manipulated by other people their circumstances uh, their friends family 
their upbringing is definitely playing a big role here or the whatever the tradition they are in maybe or whatever they live okay so they definitely have the biggest manipulation going on in their life now we also have a venus and jupiter these two planets are definitely husband and wife you know they say that jupiter is 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 a, is a husband and a woman child and and venus is a love of their life or um, true love or divine feminine or wife in a man chart we already have a venus and jupiter so you have a strong potential to be together you see them as the one they see you as the one but what's the problem the problem is circumstances the problem is you're not on the same page what you want they're not ready to give you that right now they may be with a leg up it could be also interesting <laughs> how to say it uh let me find the right word like with this a leg up energy i feel like <laughs> this is a mother and child dynamic here or you would say that the father or a child you know there's definitely a parent and a child role here so you may be playing the parent role here look at this with this big mama bear here and there's a little bear here this person is legging up <laughs> this is cute and sweet but at the same time it's very frustrating and we already have i don't know if you can see that but i have to show you um the face i don't know you will not see it but there's a face here hidden in the clouds like it's an angel it's a divine um is guiding you know this connection so i feel like you're playing the role here of a father or mother and they're legging up like they're your baby either whatever their age is i don't care they're your baby so they're legging up it's like you're teaching them some lessons you're trying to teach them how to be open and 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 be in love be warm um, you know i feel this person is cold and detached to be honest but there's something about you is like they want to open up they want to leg up they want to work with you because this person is definitely care about you and caring this connection this is someone who's definitely you, you can have a caring connection with it's very romantic it's very it's a very look at this how protective and you know this person is about you so this is a connection that is like a child and parent you know for a very platonic way but it's not platonic it's romantic okay so you but you're playing the role of a platonic you're teaching them the mother role you're teaching them how to be in love how to maybe this person has a absent mother so they may be because we have the venus in aquarius detachment so maybe in this person life their mother is absent the feminine energy is absent they never received the true love um there's no emotions there's no flow so they may be they may be their parent especially their father um our male figures to care of them you know their gardener was you know their their male figure or their father are they teach to be a tough man you know or woman whatever it is but we also have a jupiter is a manipulation here so this person is definitely under a lot of manipulation like they are definitely confused between their heart and in their head yeah this is 11000 8000 energy this is definitely someone from your past life if you believe it or not either past from this life you definitely have a past history with this person or this is someone that you had a past life with but there's definitely instant attraction here like there's a protection there's a connection here between you and this person is very strong by the way because we have a 8th house it's not easy it this person could be very obsessed with you yeah and 11th house it could be a friendship their community their they could be from a different background they could be from a different community their friends are playing important role here they're manipulating their community is playing like they have a lot of fear of judgment i strongly feel this person has a child they were maybe abusive as a child like they they maybe they maybe go through some type of a domestic violence or some type of abuse from their community judgment yeah this is a like a leg up here like this person is is falling you like their baby step it's like there's a it's like this person is very slow i love this picture in the, in your reading here like there's you are standing there and they're legging up like oh I, i'm catching you i'm catching you i'm coming but they're not on your level you got me this person is learning very slow but at the same time whatever they're learning they don't want to learn it because it's a, there's a big manipulation here they maybe think that you're using them this person because there's a lot of star here they could be a star they could be definitely strong aquarius placement here they could be very well known in their community okay or they want to be get known i feel like they, they want to be a famous they want to be a popular but again they're saying magic happens when you let go so i feel like you need to let go of any expectations from this person or this connection then they will match up your energy and they will come to you there's definitely a caring connection here now moving on let's see this could be also someone that your friends right now are you working together 
Are you will work together? Let's see the person on your mind. Hmm. We have a ten of pentacles reverse. Yeah, look, here you go. Look at this. I'm hearing this person's family upbringing. Four of swords. Yes. We have the judgment. Told you. Look at this. Judgment. Yeah, this person has a fear of judgment of other people, their family, their society, um, everything. Everything. They maybe don't have a family. We have a five of swords. Yeah. They maybe don't have a family. They could be orphan for some of you or they took... Or maybe someone take care of them. They, they never experienced that love of family. Let's see now. Page of Swords energy here. I'm going to get clarity on Five of Swords. What is this? Five of Swords energy here. This person. King of Cup. Yeah, they, they don't have a good... They, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's see. What, what Ten of Swords look... Let, get, let me get Ten of Pentacles here. What is this? This person is wounded. They're hurt. They don't want to believe in love. They don't want to fall in love. Ten of Pentacles reverse. What is this? Yeah. Look, this person does not have a family. Bottom of the deck, we have a King. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So whenever I get the king and queen, uh, king of cup and king of swords together in the reading, in the same reading, for me, it's a hot and cold detachment. This person, I told you, an interesting thing here, we have Aquarius and Scorpio, Aquarius and Scorpio. So maybe this person has a strong Aquarius and Scorpio in their chart. Like they want to be logical, but their heart in the way. They don't want to show their emotions, their feelings. They feel it's a weakness and people can take advantage of them because people took already take advantage of their emotions, their feelings, maybe their own family. Maybe their own family, maybe their own people took this um, advantage of them. This is definitely someone that they maybe their father was in a military, army, police. They were very detached. They were very cold, very strict, very abusive. So this this is, I feel like they, they, they definitely were under a lot of pressure. Look at this king of swords. I feel like this person's definitely were in a pressure or wherever they got risen up in their family, whoever this person was gardener or taking care of them is very man, very masculine, very detached, very cold. They teach them to be cold. They teach them to be cut the people out. Like they were very, they maybe have a narcissistic parents, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. This person definitely is right now confused. Like they don't want to be in love. They have a fear. They have a judgment. They're judging you. They maybe judged you already. Like, why are you coming towards me? Why? What do you want? You know, so maybe this person have already some type of a settlement. Like, they could, they could have a career. They could have a business. They could be in a military, army, police. They could be also have some type of a power as a position with this king of swords. They're very detached. Very detached and cold person with the king of swords. And two of swords, look at this. They, they don't know what emotions are. They don't know how to express it. This person will never understand how to express and convey their messages. Because they never learned that. So you need to understand that a leg up energy, they're learning from you how to express it. They're learning from this connection, this caring connection, that how to express their love. But again, they feel it's a manipulation. You're using them. You know, they feel like you can use their emotions for them. This is someone who definitely see the emotions as weakness. I saw triple three. Yes, this is someone who's definitely don't want to get involved in emotions and feelings. But Again, this person is mean to cross this path with a judgment with you and temperance. This is a soul connection here, by the way, with the temperance and judgment. It's a definitely happening something on astral level. I feel you did not come into union yet. Or maybe this person never took action and tell you how do they feel. They maybe led you on. They maybe give you mixed signals. They maybe played the feelings of the five of swords. This is someone who always learned how to win it no matter what. Yeah, this is that person. They, they, they can use the manipulation too. And they could be using a lot of manipulation on you, but nothing is working on you. Because we have the temperance and judgment. You're very spiritual. You're very soulful. And you're totally different from them. So meeting with you is like you're the catalyst here. It's like you are divinely guarded in this person's life. This person is learning the biggest lesson of their life with you. Their soul is evolving, changing. You can also see the change in this person. Maybe you maybe already expect you, you sight. I feel with the four of swords and five of swords, you triggered this person. You triggered this person's ego. That I feel this person was sleeping. 
you trigger this person wounds that was sleeping that was cover undercover like they were not showing anyone but there's something about you you trigger in them the beast in them you trigger the you know the unhealed or trauma in them okay and now we also have the ten of pentacles and five of cups yeah two fives here definitely fives is, is a challenge it's, it's a manipulation it's a conflict here so this person is already heartbroken and i feel this is coming from their family they never receive the love from their family they maybe never ad get admiration in their family they never get treasure their family they never had a love with family this could be they never received the love from their father no matter what they did their, their father never ever you know accept them or love them or you know yeah this could be an orphan or they maybe their, their their parents were narcissistic or their parents were hating on them like why you came up into this world and something like that yeah this person gone through a lot they shut down i'm hearing they shut down their emotions and feelings yeah they they shut down but meeting you you trigger this thing in them judgment they got the judge they got the judgment they maybe judge you too with a judgment they maybe put some type of judgment and page of swords harsh words to you or maybe this is you you put some type of a hard judgment on this person but you don't know this person history you don't know what's happened in this person life you don't know how much this person is a survivor by the way trauma survivor i could be a domestic abuse survivor they're some they're definitely a survivor they could be coming out of a depression. I don't think so. This person ever feel the family love. Then they ever felt that what is the family? They don't know what is family. With the temperance, I feel this is you, your divinely guide. This person is going to have a family with you. Yeah, I feel the, with you the caring connection that the way you show them love, true love, your 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 care is really changing this person. Or this person changed by you. This person not calling you. So even though if you give them a number, a message or whatever, they're, they're not calling you. Magic will happen when you will stop thinking and, and expecting anything from this person. This could be also spying on you, checking on you on social media. They could have a fake account. Again, they have a definitely something going on. They want to know what are your intentions, why you want to be with them. Uh, what, are, what are you planning you know, to be with them? They could be in America or you could be in America, something like that. You also have a king of cup. Yeah, this is you. They, they definitely don't have a, you know, with a five of swords. They definitely have a not a good experience in emotions and feelings. They feel it's weakness. And they don't want to be weak. They want don't want to show you that how weak they are. This is also someone who have a very tough, I told you, they, they don't know how to express it. Their throat chakra is closed. King of cups and is a wand. This person is very attractive to you, but they don't want to admit it. Because they feel like now you will, you can manipulate them. You can use them. Because this is how this person is used to be their emotions are their feelings i feel like always get used they got abused by emotions by feelings by showing their emotions and feelings yeah i feel like this is uh, whoever this person is they, they, that's why they're showing you this tough man the matter man like they don't care but they do they do care this person has a very sweet heart gentle heart and uh, this is you you're triggering them to be the gentle because in essence in their soul they are this king of cup maybe they hate you they don't want to uh, you know like um, because you are triggering them it's a love and hate type of relationship here they're detached off and on cold and love like very moody around you or they they behave very you know different moods this is definitely a divinely guided connection here it's a soul contact it's a very spiritual connection here with the temperance and judgment this is your soulmate we also have yeah we have a disguise conceal yeah look at this this person does not like it devil in disguise and we have a concealed yeah this is here look at this this person is watching you look 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 what we have we have a determination yeah this is this is someone who feel powerless like they don't want to come towards you they feel you're gonna use them you're gonna use their own emotion their own emotions you're gonna use them this is also talking about making a move this person could be born into a horse here they're gonna make a move when they're ready i feel like you not you should not force them they will come when they're ready this person is craving your touch craving your emotions the feeling, whatever you want, they want it. Whatever you have, they want it. They're definitely craving your love. They're craving your attention. They're craving your, you know, they could be manipulating you, like come back to them. This person is definitely knows how to get you. Like they want to win you no matter what. They may be very, very attractive to you. This person is definitely spying on you. Look at this, spying, checking on you. Like what are you doing? What are you up to? They definitely have a fake profiles. We also have hostility. Look at this. This person is definitely is burned off. Like why you came up into my life? Why you why why you 
why you changed me they don't want to get changed let's see now what is next in this relationship what they're going to do next their next move or what will happen next this person is craving you physically you could be on a distance or right now not in a contact this could be also someone that maybe you have a child they have a child they could have some family issues they could be coming out of a broken marriage relationship also so there's definitely a struggle here yeah passion and soulmate this is what i saw but let's see this person is very, very attractive to you. They want a new beginning, but they, at the same time, they want you to come to them. You know, again, they're manipulating. They could have a manipulating tendencies, by the way. Now, let's see. What's happening in this connection next? So we have a seduction. Yeah, I feel like you need to seduce them. They want you to seduce them. They love the way you wear makeup jewelry they're very very attractive to you look at this they're very seductive like they just want to have you in their arms we also have engagement yeah look at this they want to get engaged they want to be with you they are going to propose you i feel they are coming to express their love is there something about you you're changing them and they don't like it they don't like it that you're changing them but at the same time it's like they like it but they don't like it this person has definitely a traumatic uh, past, childhood. They, they, they're wounded. They're wounded. They need to heal. We also have divine timing. Yeah, it's just the matter of the divine timing that you will be together. Look, this person definitely want a stability. They want a stability. They want to have a family with you. They want to marry you. They want to get engaged with you. You are the one only, I feel, that they can allow themselves to be this close. Because I don't think so this person ever attached with anyone pleasure yeah this person want to have with you um i feel like they want you look at this craving a lot of sexual energy here like this person just very very attractive to you you know they want you to just give them just give them everything focus yeah look at this they're focused on you and partner in crime yeah this person wants you only honey they want you they want to have fun with you they want to you know like bedroom and sexual fun this is what they want deception and lies yeah look at this this biggest ass snack Decision and choices. This person definitely need to make a choice here and decision. There's definitely deception and lies going on here. They need to come forward and tell you how do they feel. Confusion. This person is definitely making you confused also. Like you don't know what this person, you don't, you have no idea what do they want. But they are definitely going to make a move. Allow them to come towards you and make the space. Now let's see anything else this person want to say to you or their spirit guides. This person definitely want to have you in their arms. My heart is yearning for you. Look, yearning, craving. They want your touch. I suck at, I suck at goodbyes, but this is only a goodbye for now. Yeah, this person definitely feel like you will be together. It's not over yet from this person. This person is very obsessive with you like because we have the 8th house. They're very obsessed with you. They could be using a lot of manipulation. To get your attention. I hear a million voices in my head telling me the things I should have said. Yeah, this person never told you. Or they're having a difficult time to express it. We have the thought of you with someone else drive me insane. Yeah, look at this. This person can't even thought, think about to have you with someone else. I need to own up where I fell short in this relationship. This person definitely need to own their all mistake. And they have to come clear. But they don't know how. Because again, you need to be understanding of this person. They're learning. They're learning. And I feel like they're learning from you. Maybe you need to make a move and tell this person what to do, what to not. What to do next. And what do you want? They want to understand what do you want. I wish things were different between us. This person is definitely in a deep regret. They definitely have a care for you, a love for you. I don't think so this person ever, ever get involved with anyone like this. I'm realizing your love was holding me together. Yeah, look at this. I feel this person is falling apart without you like they're just all over the place they're very overwhelmed by these emotions this is very intense now let's see anything else that we need to pick up let me get some letters letters okay so we have i wick wicket war vir Warner, Wire,
way ray you know yeri we also have you're safe with me yeah this person definitely want to feel safe around you look at this we have i will be there for you this person is coming back look at this all these stones i feel this person is definitely going through a lot of healing recovery um and also chakras blocking and stuff things going on you're definitely triggering this person a lot they're going through a lot of there's definitely a lot of transformation or transition period of this person's life um there's something the crystals here either you're using or they're using but there could be also something to do with the crystal here i'm also hearing that they're going to tell you very clearly we have a bitch spray yeah i feel like this is you you did some bitch spray on this person you tell them you know what they did to you or you should tell them what are they doing with this manipulation so they can get some bitches to pray forever and ever look at this it's a past life connection here your soulmates you both could be scorpios or they have a strong scorpio in their chart yeah by the way they could be a air sign or water sign we also have this mic okay so they may be definitely going to speak up look what i told you mic so they're going to speak up they're going to declare something to you they could be also a singer for some of you or musician we have um no bad days yeah i feel like they're coming to understand this connection is is changing them they're coming again they play some type of scuba driving or something we also have this cell phone so they're going to text you call you we also have this that so there's definitely someone who's who's definitely not letting you go they're very obsessed with you spying on you checking on you everything all but at the same time they could be in a very dark and negative energy they judge you they they also have a fear of judgment of other people they could be under pressure we also have this gun here so there could be something happen in this person childhood like this traumatic experience that they can't let you go and they can't let go this is also someone they could have some type of involved with some type of a bad people they have a bad influence you know they were could be in some type of a clubs you know like gangs they were the part of the gangs or something this person definitely did something in the past like they're not um proud of yeah i feel like this person definitely need to let go of their old beliefs or something they need to open themselves they need to change transformed and you are changing changing them you're you're definitely doing that so this is what this person is thinking and feeling about you you're changing them they want to be with you they're trying to manipulate you but at the same time this person need a lot of time you have to be patient with this person they're just lagging up they're just it's like they're just baby taking baby steps they're learning from you okay they are learning from this connection they need a time to be on your level but they will be there okay that's your reading gonna see you later bye hello group number three welcome if you choose this beautiful calcite welcome on your reading and you choose this deck wheel of the golden wheel of the year or something golden of the wheel or something i don't know but let's see it's a general reading take what resonates and leave the rest let's see what your person on your mind is thinking and feeling about you what is the potential and what will happen we have jupiter in leo we have publicity we have moon in libra companionship wow we have y then we have seventh chakra archangel ariel are you real ariel i guess it is it's love it's not love it's infatuation okay then we have resisting the connection leading to marriage ooh and we have patience is required okay this is a definitely a strong potential to get married with this person but you could be resisting it or they could be resisting are you both are resisting this connection for some of you because it could be just started or this some of you you're manifesting your soulmate your twin flame or marriage partner we have a seventh chakra this is a very spiritual connection you definitely already guided toward this person or this person is guided towards you and this is also like your spirit guides are guiding you about this person so please pay attention to your dreams signs symbols secrecy everything they're showing you about this person you will also see this person in your dreams before they will come and enter in your life we have a why so something happened in your life you have a ans you want to know the answers and i feel like this person or this relationship is going to give you the answers of your all question that why things never work with anyone else because this is your person we have a 5000 7000 energy here 5000 is about love romance dating 7000 is all about companionship marriage partnership so you will date this person and after dating them you will get married so this is definitely someone that with this 5000 also could be there some type of a flirting going on here 
either already you're talking to each other, flirting with each other, you're take, talking to each other casually, or you're dating this person, or this is also someone that you dated already. So now you want to answer that, what will happen next? I strongly feel with this companionship with the moon in Libra, your relationship can move towards the next level. You could be Libra and Leo couple. Your Jupiter or moon could be conducted. By the way, Jupiter is, is a husband in a woman chart. So some of you, you're attracting your future spouse, your husband. Um, or could be your divine counterpart. This is also someone that you could, definitely, I feel you are seeing this person in your dreams. Uh, you will see this person in your dreams. There's something, something hidden from you. Look at these angel wings. I want to show you in this why in the book. There's an angel wing here and we also have an angel wing. This is a divinely guided connection or this person is divinely guided towards you. You could be right now 31 or 41 years old. For some of you, you could be 57. You could be right now 17, 56, 49. You could be also 47 or 32 years old. Um, life path number could be 5, 7, 9, 4, 1 for some. Or it could be 11. Yeah, let's start it. Yeah, we have a Jupiter in Leo, publicity. So this is a relationship that you're going to see as a public couple, maybe. Yeah, could be this person is in a public. They could be an artist or they could be somehow seen in the public. Are you, you both could be in a, working in a public. So it's like two people are coming together, companionship. But we have a publicity, Jupiter in Leo, publicity. This is definitely someone that who could be an artist. You will see a couple as a public, okay? I don't know why. What is the, What does it mean? You will see as a public couple. Maybe you both are on Instagram, YouTubers, uh, TikTok, Facebook. I don't know what you guys do. You both could be do different things. But you're going to see as a couple. I'm seeing a public couple. This person is also going to publicly tell everyone that you're dating. Because they want to embrace you. They want to tell everyone that this is my partner. We have a companionship. Yes, this relationship can lead towards a marriage commitment. But there's a patience required here. Um, this person could be resisting this connection or this could be you. This is a very infatuated love. Like you both are very infatuated by each other. Attractive to each other. This person is also very attractive to each other. You may be wanting to know that why you are attractive to this person or they are attractive to you. So maybe you want to know some type of answers here with the why. You will get answers of your question very soon. Or you need to get your answers with your dreams, with your intuition, with your psychic abilities. Like pay attention to that. Signs, symbols, dreams, everything that God is showing you. Universe is showing you. Now let's see um, the person on your mind, whoever this person is. What do they feel and think about you? What's going on? This person could be a tarot reader for some or you could be a tarot reader. Because I'm getting with the companionship, you're going to work together, collaborate together also. Or they want to do this with you. We have a justice. Wow. <laughs> The hangman. We have the nine of cups. Yes. Some of you, this is your crush. You like this person. Seven of wands. Or they have a crush on you. They like you, but they're not telling you. Yeah, ten of swords. Yeah. Okay. We have the two of swords. Okay, I want to get this. All these swords energy is definitely telling me they could be an air sign or they could have an air moon, like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius moon. We already have a Libra moon. So they're very confused about you and this connection. Yeah, we have a nine of wands. Nine of wheels. This is a nine of pentacles. This, this, and we also have the cook here. Uh, sorry, this is um, what they call. Sorry, what is... Wait a minute. Rooster. So this person may be born into a rooster year of Chinese. Yeah, this is someone who's definitely is very independent. I feel you both are. This is a connection that is two single people attractive to each other. I feel you're single. They're single. You both are very independent. You both are very confident people. You don't need anyone, but you want to be. It's like you both could be looking for, uh, with the justice, is like looking for companionship. You both are looking for true love. So that's why, that's how you're going to match up with each other energy. Because there's something about both of you is like you're on the same page. Like you both are looking for the same thing. I'm picking up with this nine of pentacles here. And so, yeah, this is you. You are in the embrace. This is someone that you're going to start all over again. This is a new person. Yeah. A lot of you, this is a new person, your crush. Or this is someone that you may be juggling between two people. 
you may be right now stuck on someone else but that is not the person that you're going to end up with there's a new person is entering in your life or coming your way or you already met this new person that you're asking about this is someone that you're going to start all over again with the ace of pentacles you both are going to build your connection on a strong foundation you both have a strong um this person could have a strong Taurus in their chart, definitely Empress, Taurus and Libra. This person is also going to treat you very well, like you're going to be treated well by this person with the Empress. For some of you, I'm not going to lie with this Empress and Justice. This is someone that you're going to be this person's mother of child. If you're a woman watching this video, this, person, this is someone that you're going to marry. So if you both are single, definitely you're going to marry with each other. You're going to date with each other. I feel like this is about two single people who are independent who are confident, they both are looking for the same thing, um, and because you both are looking for romance, you both are looking for companionship, you both want the same thing, and this is going to bring you guys together. Yeah, you will date this person, and then you will start living together. You will move towards next level, commitment, marriage, I don't know, living together. The Empress, some of you, this is someone, yeah, four of wands, yes, Empress and four of wands, you're going to marry this person, definitely leading to a marriage. This is someone that you're going to marry uh, you're going to live together you're going to be this person mother or mother of child or wifey this is someone who already going to see you of uh, you know going to put you on pedestal with the empress like you have everything that they ever wanted in their partner yeah this is definitely it's like a new start a new beginning for both of you okay now i'm also getting you both could be coming out of a very toxic relationship in the past you both have a maybe same history in the relationship in the past uh, we have a two of swords this person could be right now in the crossroad uh, this is you you are on the crossroad but no matter what i feel you're coming together with the justice and the seven of wands this is mean to happen i feel like this is the universe is giving you justice in this relay for both of you it's a justice but maybe this person is resisting with the seven of wands like they're like no i don't want to fall in love i don't want to experience again because this person is definitely experienced a lot of betrayal hurt pain toxic or trauma um, in relationships or even in, in, their, in their life. I feel like they want to be single right now or happy, but at the same time, they're looking for companionship. It's look like you both are yearning and longing for a companionship, like someone that who can understand you, you can understand them, true love, and you both are going to see this, this thing in, in each other. With the hangman and ten of swords, this person could be right now stuck on their past. They still could be longing something from the past. They're still healing something from their past. But I feel like either this is you, you're bringing justice in their life as a new partner or they are your new partner. Like there's something is like universe is giving the justice to both of you. This could be also someone that you had a breakup with and you're coming together. Yeah, it could be a reconciliation, but I'm not getting. I'm feeling this is someone that you're going to date. You're going to be in a companionship with together. Well, let's see what will happen next between you and this person. No, I want to get know, to know about this relationship more. So let's see from this Orbit Oracles card here, what's, what's, what's happening in this connection. Yeah, we have a toxicity, negativity energy. It came up reverse though, so this person could have a strong Scorpio in their chart, poison. Yeah, this person definitely coming out of a very toxic, unhealthy patterns relationship for some of you i'm getting disease like they could be uh, they could have a health issues they're fighting some type of a health or disease also we have alone yeah this is definitely someone who's a loner yeah alone crow here it's a rebirth and birth definitely scorpion energy here this is a rebirth of you and this connection you both are alone or loners you this person definitely want to be alone but at the same time they don't want to be alone you are this new relationship that universe is giving them an opportunity and and for both of you it's a new opportunity to start all over again i also saw some type of a taboo thing here but i don't know what's the taboo it could be there's a difference between you and this person or there's a huge age gap also i'm picking up for some of you maybe this person never dated person like you or you never dated someone like they like them But with this justice here, it's like you complement each other. There's something is like you just match with each other. Yeah, look at this. We have a fling, flirty, and social media. Yeah, you may be going to meet this person on social media, or you're flirting with them already, and they're flirting with you. There's a lot of flirt energy going on here, so they could also have... I'm getting like a Scorpio, air energy, definitely Libra air. 
they could be Taurus, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. We also have a Leo and Libra. Libra is very strong here. And Scorpio. Let's see more. We have hiding. Yeah, this person definitely wants to hide from you. They could be hiding that how much they are infatuated by you. They're, they're liking you. They're, they, they definitely like you. They could have a crush on you, but they're hiding. They don't want to reveal. They, no, no, no. They, they, they're very afraid for this love. Like they don't want to take... Um, I feel like your love is with this person is already happening on astral level. Like you could be already dreaming about each other, being together, kissing together, hugging together, dating, and they could also dreaming about you. But I feel like something did not happen yet in reality. They could be watching you, keeping an eye on you. This person also could have a cat or you could have a cat. Yeah, there's definitely um, making a move. Yeah, I feel this person definitely going to make a move. They could be born into a horse here or rooster. Yeah, breaking free. They definitely need to break free from their partner or from their past. They're very hesitant. Look at this. There's a definitely hesitation here. Or this could be you. You're hesitant to take approach to them or to tell them. You could have a red hair, a ginger hair. Potato card. Yeah, I feel like some of you is feeling like, I don't know, I'm a potato card. They're very attractive. They're very charming. They're good looking. So they're not going to accept me. Or this is someone who is their potato card. Couch potato. Like they feel like they're not your type. Yeah, one of you is feeling, you know, like I'm not this person type. But I feel, look at this, your guardian angel is, 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 is with you. You could be born into a tiger here, horse here, rooster. There's a definitely a lot of animals here. Yeah, I feel like this is divinely guided connection here. I feel like they're guided towards you, you're guided towards them. You both are getting a lot of signs from each other. Look at this, we have internal suffering and addiction. Yeah, I will find you. This person will find you. Like they're, they're, They always have been looking for this type of relationship. They're very hopeless, romantic. Are you both or could be hopeless romantic? Yeah, they're finding you. They're finding their soulmate. They're, they're finding their partner. And that's you. This person definitely have some type of internal trauma or issues, addictions, suffering. This is definitely someone that who could be suffering right now mentally. They could be going through addiction. They could be going through some type of a depression. They're definitely feeling so lonely. I feel you both could be feeling it. You both are mirroring each other. Even though you both are showing on the outside of the world, like you don't care, you don't need anyone, but you both are looking for love. Now, let's see what's, what's going to happen next in this connection. Yeah, we have a dreams and illusions. I told you, you're dreaming about each other. You're already seeing each other in dreams, romancing up in the dreams. You maybe already have some type of illusions, like you have no clarity, no truth. But I feel the time will reveal the truth to you. Yeah, forgiveness and healing. I strongly feel you both need to heal and forgive something from the past. You both need to let go of something from the past and forgive and start all over again. Or this is a new beginning for both of you. Yeah, tired and standing. I feel you both could be different from each other. Again, black and white. This could be a same gender sex relationship. Yeah, for some of you, this is your husband. Told you, leading to a marriage and husband. This is your husband, like... Yeah, this is someone who's going to be your husband. You're going to marry this person. In a winter, they could live in the places like a winter, like cold, snowfall areas. You maybe look at this. We have a wedding, a winter. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy for you. We have a husband, winter and wedding. This is your husband. You're attracting your husband. You're going to marry this person in a winter. Your wedding will be in a winter. Don't, don't forget to invite me there. Yeah, this is someone definitely either coming in a winter, you're, you're getting engaged or married to this person in the wedding. Wow, wow, wow. I don't have any words. This is leading towards a marriage. This is your husband. This is your wife. You're going to marry this person. They're going to marry you. Wow, some of you, you're definitely attracting and manifesting your marriage partner. You both are single. They're coming. They're coming. They're, they're going to find you. This is a message, specific message. They want to tell you that they're going to find you. They're coming. They're going to find you. I feel this is someone that you already found. They're coming. They're going to make a move. We have, I wish things were different between us. This person definitely coming back if they did not treat you well. Maybe this break is for good reason. Maybe this time apart is, 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 will help us come back together. We also have we belong together. Yeah, this person definitely going to come back to you. Sometimes I wonder if, I'm, if, if saying I'm sorry is enough. This is someone who's regretting. They're coming back. And others of you, this is someone just new. 
I see my future when I look into your eyes. Look at this. It's just the future. Sometimes I think you can be a little controlling and that pushes me away. You make my heart skip a bit. I get butterflies whenever we talk. This is definitely you're talking right now, flirting. The thought of you with someone else drives me insane. Yeah, this is your person. This is your person. Now let's get some more um, insight on this and then I'm done this reading. Let's get it. Let's see, we have a six of pentacles. So this is a relationship that is going to be equal and balanced. Again, Libra energy, seventh house energy. You're going to date, you're going to be together. Look at this big ass angel wing. This is definitely a spiritual connection, divinely guided. This person and you have a lot of passion, desire. You both are very independent, strong people. You're going to be together. I am creating the life of my dreams. So you both are very independent people. You will also create something together. Now let's see more. We have the Saturn. Yeah, this is a long-term partnership. There could be an age gap here. Either you are older than this person or they could be. This is also a spiritual lesson that you're both going to learn. This is a long-term partnership. We also have your safe with me. You both are going to feel safe with each other. This person could be a singer, something to do with the music, singing, speaking. They're going to sing a song for you, I'm hearing. Yeah, this is someone who's going to sing a love song to you. We have a king and queen. Yeah, this is a power couple. You're a king and queen. You both are going to be in love with each other, deeply in love with each other. We also have, what is this? Focus on the, go focus on the good. Yeah, I feel like you both need to focus on the good. We also have a T, I, Tira, Tara. We have a C, we have a R, we have a E, we have a D, a date. I feel like you will date this person. We also have double E. It's like D, L, E, Lee, Led, Leader, Tinder. I'm hearing for some of you, you're going to meet this person. Tinder, two of swords. Yeah, there's a confusion here, but this confusion is definitely going to be and very soon. We also have an editor. So the, I, I don't know what this means, but there's something with the editor here or creator. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell.